What's up YouTube, this is LDS Reliance. Unless you've been living under a rock, you've started to see these battery powered lawn mowers and other lawn devices popping up on the market. At first I ignored this trend and didn't really pay much attention to it, but over time I started to get intrigued by it. You guys know that I love solar, I love portable devices, I love battery power, so it just seemed like a natural fit after I got to thinking about it. What intrigued me the most was the prospect of powering one of these with solar power not directly attaching a solar panel to the mower, but recharging the batteries with solar power. Anyways, enough about solar power. I'm going to concentrate the rest of the video on the mower itself, but that's how I got interested. So in a first for me, I actually reached out to a company to do a review video instead of letting them come to me. So I reached out to a company called Greenworks. Greenworks was founded in 2007 and has quickly become a leader in this new emerging market. And for those curious, even though they do have North American and European distribution, they are owned by a Chinese parent company. What attracted me to Greenworks specifically is they have a whole line of outdoor power tools, and they have different voltages of batteries that can power their devices. So for mowers, for example, they have a 40 volt, 60 volt, 80 volt, and an 82 volt version to choose from. So I got in contact with the company, they love the idea of collaborating with me, and so they sent me a 60 volt self-propelled lawn mower to test out. Alright, let's go quickly through the unboxing process so you can see what's included. First we have the 60 volt battery charger. Next we have the battery itself, which is a lot heavier than it looks like. And three really good manuals. They have really good step-by-step -step instructions for assembly and for use of these devices. It comes with a bag if you bag the clippings, and a side discharger if you like to mulch. The mower was heavier than I expected, but that's a good thing because you don't want to be mowing your yard with a plastic toy. The rest of the assembly process was very easy with good directions and did not require any special tools at all. And since I prefer to mulch my yard, I installed the side discharger on the side. The next step was to charge the battery, so I plugged it in and let it do its thing. The battery ships mostly discharged for safety, and so you will have to charge it up, which does take about an hour to two hours depending on how discharged it is. So without further ado, let's go ahead and fire this thing up and see what it can do. Oh, and don't judge. Between my job and YouTube and my kids, I don't have free time to take care of a lawn very well. So as you guys can probably hear, it sounds more like a vacuum than it does a gas-powered lawnmower. That was a little unnerving at first, but I got used to it after a while. So here's one of the differences I don't like between this mower and a traditional gas-powered mower, at least the mower that I used to have. And that is that it leaves all these artifacts, as you can see here. And even though I overlap where I'm going, it does seem to leave some blades of grass and some weeds uncut. Let me show you what I mean. Now you can clearly see that I'm overlapping with the mower deck over where I've already been. But if you look closely, you'll see that it did leave some stuff uncut. Now, I don't know if it's something I'm doing wrong, maybe I'm going too fast or something like that, but I'll check with the manufacturer and let you guys know. When I get an answer, I'll put it in the video description for you. The last question I wanted to answer was how much did that discharge the battery? I wanted to get a feel for how big of a lawn this thing could handle in one charge. My yard is only an eighth of an acre, and so that requires me to go back and forth and do a lot of turns. So keep that in mind when you're trying to estimate your own run time. So according to the meter, it only discharged about 25%, so that's not bad. And keep in mind, I was using the self-propelled feature about 50% of the time or so. So what's the verdict? This particular lawnmower is a $500 unit. Now that's pretty pricey for a lawnmower. And it obviously had some minor issues getting all of the blades of grass cut. But I'm sure not going to miss buying gas in a can multiple times a year, draining the carb each winter, changing and refilling the oil, cleaning the air filter, and replacing the carb after so many years. Not to mention I can mow the yard before 8 a.m. in the summer when it's cooler and not have to worry about waking up my neighbors. In the end, that decision is up to you, but thanks for watching my video and be sure to hit subscribe if you enjoyed it.